Hey everybody. So in this video, I want to do a review of the DC Multiverse Hush Batman from McFarland Toys. So I got this figure from Big Bad Toy Store. It was part of my latest pile of loot haul, which I did a short little video for uh, prior. So I wanted to go ahead and review this figure in particular because, um, you know, DC Multiverse is kind of one of the major toy lines that I uh, review and collect for the channel. And of course, this being one of my absolute favorite versions of the Batsuit and definitely one of my favorite Batman comic book stories of all time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure in the packaging. So typical DC Multiverse box, as you can see, all of his accessories. On the side, it says Batman. On the back, we have artwork from Batman Hush, which should be the same artwork as what's on the card. On the side, it says Batman Hush. Of course, this is the gray and blue version. And then there's the barcode for those of you that need it. So. Let's take a look at him out of the packaging, and then we'll do some comparisons. So here is the Hush Batman out of the packaging. Um, this is how I have him posed for right now. I will tell you that the uh, sculpt and the detail look great, but man, oh man, this figure is very difficult to stand up. I actually have him leaning on the back of the wall right here because um, he just will not stand. I think part of it is the cape is really thick and heavy, but he's also got the old ankle articulation. So these are the old kind of ball joint ankles. And I think the combination of the ankles and the cape is just really working against this figure standing up. But as you can see, the usual articulation that we get from uh, McFarland DC Multiverse, uh, double jointed elbows and knees, uh, the head turns on a ball joint, diaphragm cuts pretty good, um, as is the bicep cut and the shoulders. So everything works fine, except he just will not stand up. So I've had uh, a lot of difficulty trying to get this guy to stand. You really have to bend him really far forward uh, because, I, again, I think it's just due to the cape being so heavy. So yeah, definitely trying to get him to stand is a challenge. So going over his accessories here, of course, he has the, um, the round black stand that we always get. Here's his trading card with the same artwork as back of the packaging. Looks really nice. Here is the bio on the back. Um, I do save these cards and put them in a binder. Um, and then we've got some um batarangs that come with him so he's holding one batarang and then here's the other one i do believe they're identical and then we've got um some alternate hands as well which is nice we don't always get alternate hands with these figures so there's an extra grabbing hand for a batarang and this is really cool he's got the kryptonite ring from the hush storyline um, which I think is really, really neat. So I might actually put the kryptonite ring hand on him. I got to kind of decide. I'm not sure yet. Um, but like I said, he looks really good. He just doesn't want to stand up. But I really like the shade of blue. Speaking of blue, here is comparison with the uh, Batman from the five pack. And then the Michael Keaton uh, custom Batman that I made on the three Jokers Batman body. And you can see there's a lot of similarities here. Um, like I said, unfortunately, this figure is using the old ankles, but the knees and everything um, are pretty much identical, just uh, different sculpting details and, of course, the different colors. So here is Batman alongside some Superman figures that I have. Uh, this is the, um, let's see here, the uh, first release the Action Comics 1000 Superman, which is probably the most classic Superman we have from McFarlane Toys. And then my custom Superman that I've shown off a lot here on the channel. There you go. So the lighter blue. Um, so again, you know, 
they look good together. It's just this Batman is too tall, just like the three Jokers Batman. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to move them over. I just want to see how they look kind of side by side. And, you know, it's not too, too bad. Um, you know, I don't, obviously, I don't have the other Superman because he's not out yet. And I don't have the uh, exclusive one with the angry face because I didn't really want that figure. This, I think, looks even a little better because uh, they both have like the really, really big capes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it works. Um, I would like to have a little bit of a, a taller Superman, but, you know, it just kind of is what it is with these figures, but I do like this uh, blue and gray suit. Um, here he is alongside Calabac. I just figured it would be fun to show him with a uh, mega fig. So Calabac is the most recent mega fig that we've gotten. And uh, that looks kind of cool. So yeah, I just, uh, you know, it's just a, a favorite version of mine for Batman. So I had to pick this one up. And uh, he's pretty cool. You just got to work to get him to stand. And, uh, you know, for the, the 20 or $25 that these figures cost, I think that they are still worth it just for the sculpt and the detail. Um, so let me know if you're picking this one up. Uh, what are some of your favorite versions of the Batsuit? And feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great day, everybody.